सो गुड मॉर्निंग सत श्री अकाल आदाब आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग फाइव सो आज मेरे साथ एक खास मेहमान है हमारे एस एस पी साहब आज हमारे वो साथ है सर uh, uh, आप कैसे आप अच्छे से बढ़िया बहुत बढ़िया तो जो भी आप देख रहे हैं चेंजेस आ रही है अभी uh, आप देखेंगे कि लोग सीट बेल्ट पहनना शुरू किया है लोग हेलमेट पहनना शुरू कर रहे हैं ट्रिपल राइडिंग छोड़ रहे हैं और एक जो ट्रेंड स्टार्ट हुआ था बीच में मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल वर ड्राइंग ड्रंक वाइल दे वर ड्राइंग नाउ यू कैन सी अ लिटल बिट ऑफ कर्टेलमेंट इन ऑल दोज इशूज एंड वी कैन जस्ट डिस्कस अ बिट विद सर सो वट आर देर इन साइट्स वट आर देर इन टोट्स अबाउट द सेम सो एक्चुअली सर अभी जैसा हम देखेंगे विंटर का टाइम आ गया सो लोग यूजली सोनमर्ग जा रहे हैं गुलमर्ग जा रहे हैं और वो जो एरिया है काफ़ी लाइक रूट रोड भी काफ़ी डिफिकल्ट होता है टर्न होते हैं ऐसे रूट्स पर जाते वक्त क्योंकि लोग अभी जा रहे हैं टूरिस्ट भी जा रहे हैं उन लोगों के लिए आप क्या एडवाइस देंगे वो जो इस रोड पर जा रहे हैं वट थिंग्स दे शुड टेक इन यू नो माइंड बिफोर गोइंग टू सच रूट्स एन थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कॉलिंग मी जितने भी हमारे दो टूरिस्ट हु सेवन इज इंटेंटिंग टू विजिट टू गुलमर्ग एज वेल एज टू सोनमर्ग वी हैव आर डी इशूड एडवाइजरीज फॉर दैम एंड थ्रू मीडिया थ्रू प्रिंट मीडिया एंड एज वेल एज सोशल मीडिया वी हैव सर्कुलेट दैट एडवाइजरी एंड टू द कंसर्न पीपल एंड दे आर फॉलोइंग इट एंड फॉर अगेन आई एम रीटेटिंग वट दे हैव टू गो फॉर एंड दे हैव टू यूज द एंटीस्केट चेंज वाइल वेन एवर दे गो फोर टू द from gagangi to sonamarg as well as from tangmarg to gulmarg and also to all on those uh, hilly areas where there is a frost and uh, conditions are there slippery conditions are there and uh, where there is uh, traffic is plying so they should not venture out around on the on those areas where still there is snow and there is no clearance of the snowfall so this is my request through your medium that uh, the, all the commuters all the passengers and all the drivers they should take care about the advisory and they have to be very strict with the advisories and i have also directed my officers uh, posted there on the different locations of the kashmir valley and they are assuring me and they are also providing facilitating them and they also helping all the drivers they are guiding them and uh, they have to follow these rules wonderful sir so as we see there there is a trend of off roading among youngsters are there any rules regarding the same for off roading and all yeah definitely off roading it is to be prohibited and it is to be uh, Uh, one uh, mission of uh, ours is uh, zero tolerance for the overloading they cannot go beyond the intake that the limited intake which uh, the rtu concern has given in, in that rcs the prescribed intake is there and they have to follow those rules and uh, in fact uh, you can see that i have also today only in your uh, school while interacting with the driving faculty as well as your management faculty and teaching faculty that 42000 of uh, challenges uh, we have uh, done for this overloading and uh, uh, this uh, this will go and uh, i uh, through this pdm only i i'm just guiding them and advising all the drivers that the two factors they which lead to the accidents and to the fatalities it's the over speed and rash and negligent driving and plus this overloading overloading is also it it, it leads to the fatalities because if the intake is 7 and he is taking 11 12 more than that if he meets with the accident then there is a loss of Well, persons and they are on tour. Families suffer a lot, so we have to minimize it. Yeah. So actually, uh, what I was saying, what I was talking about, the off-roading, the people with the four by fours and all those people who go out to the mountains, you know, they go to the off-road tracks. Is there any rule for those people as well? Like, are there any uh, rules for those such people? Like, if someone goes onto an off-road track to uh, Gulmarg with his car and all. so is there anything is there any rule regarding the same abiding them any uh, one thing that they should not modify their vehicles okay. yeah they, they they can be penalized and heavily they can be penalized and the, they their vehicle will be seized accordingly uh yeah definitely but four by four vehicles they are permitted they, but they should not go to the passenger way they should not venture it out they should not go in a adventures like because our uh, roads are not permitting because it's a slippery it dicey skiddy okay. so they can meet with they can meet with an accident and it can lead to the fatality of the us so as we see uh, like now like 10 years back there were no signals in kashmir we saw that signals were installed uh, at the beginning people were not aware of the signals now people are you know they have started to understand when to go right when to stop at a four way road how how should i react to a different situation from the side of the traffic and the rto side have do we have any changes uh, in the examination methods or their 
ट्रेनिंग मेथड्स फॉर सच पीपल बिकॉज द रूल्स आर न्यू फॉर द पीपल लाइक इट्स स्टिल डेवलपिंग स्टेट इट्स नॉट ट्रूली डेवलप द रोड्स आर नॉट दैट गुड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट दैट गुड सो डू वी हैव दोज फैसिलिटीज फॉर द ड्राइवर्स सो दैट दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड द रूल्स एंड दीज अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स ओनली द एन जी ओज गेट ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व विद अस इवन द एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट गेट्स इन्वॉल्व इन आर टी ओज आर ऑल्सो कंडक्टिंग सच टाइप ऑफ अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स अमंग ऑल द ड्राइवर्स एंड वन मोट इन द नियर फ्यूचर विद IT MS system is going to get implemented in throughout uh, smart city as we are Srinagar is becoming a smart city and also in the shape it's taken the shape of smart city and the rest of the towns are also going to be get uh, shaped as a smart city and uh, lighting facility the, the signals they are compulsory they are to be abide and they will be taught how to behave during these signals and uh, IT MS uh, there we can say that anybody any uh, vehicle which has been uh, theft uh, vehicle it can be caught easily in that system uh, you cannot be uh, you can go over speeding because there, there is a mechanism there are lots of parameters lots of parameters in the itms through those mediums you can be challenged accordingly so what is the speed limit for a car uh, in a city and on a highway yeah it on the highway it is uh, 40 to 60 what do you do 60 because it is not a lengthy stretch we can say it's about 100 meter till the view right from peaks till the view if you are going with 60 40 to 40 60 you can be controlled it will it will it will not lead to an accident the fatal accident if you are over speed then naturally it will get and what is the speed limit in cities sir it is not beyond 30 i can say i suppose because there lots of congestion there lots of jamming is there lot of congestion is there and the roads are also not widened they are also narrow and there are also pitfalls are there there a lot of slippery conditions are there yeah being in winter yeah. it's Def- difficult to drive you are the best you can understand you <laughs> can overtake <laughs> you cannot overtake okay so what is the rule for overtaking if we talk about highways which lane is meant for overtaking right this is a four four, four way we are having okay uh, uh, you can keep left left side would be for the overtaking uh, not overtake you cannot overtake you have to follow the lane but if if you find that you are having that the driver is plying on that you have to give an indicator you have to show you have to give a bro to that horn whatsoever you are having so if if he agree that if he if he limits his speed the driver who is driving ahead of you if he limits then only you can cross but still you should have a good space for crossing you and the wrong side crossing it should be prohibited it should be curtailed because it is the main reason for the maximum of accidents because whenever they cut through lateral they come on the wrong lanes the anybody any truck is coming if the small vehicle is coming they will met with an accident and it's a fatal one so i have also noticed one thing as our school is located on the highway a lot of two wheeler drivers like the bikes scooters cycles they drive on the right side of the uh, you know uh, from the divider side i was told that i have drive, driven my car in chandigarh punjab delhi so there the two wheelers go to the extreme left there is a line separate for them and they don't enter uh, f- uh, to the right side or the left lane they have the, their own lane but here we don't have any such thing that that sense is to be made and we uh, through these awareness programs only we are guiding them we are educating them and it will take time but they will come to the terms they will come to they have to pay and they have to come and they have to follow the rules and regulation because at the end of the day the rules are meant for us they are for for our safety and all and as i have seen you guys are working really hard since i i, I am honestly i see a change first when i started driving i i we were much for i never and giving a good feedback i i will be honest of traffic thank you very i'll be honest with you i never used to wear seat belt back then but last two years i wear seat belt even if i had to go 5 kilometers i will wear it it's good for you as well for your family exactly because i understood like i saw a lot of people crashing and this is the only thing that can save you like 50% of the chances are that you will be saved if you're wearing a seat belt definitely if you're wearing and compulsory if you're wearing and dedicatedly and Religiously, if you are wearing this helmet, God forbid, if you met with an accident, you will be saved. You will be saved. So, sir, personally, being aside, uh, being an officer, being into the public service, what do you think? How long would it take for our valley to actually be that uh, you know sensible about driving, sensible about walking on the roads? The ped- pedestrians who walk on the road, they don't look right or left. they just cross the road they expect the uh, bus or the car to stop for them and they will easily go ahead and cross the road how people are a wonderful people they are polite they are humble they can understand they are understanding rather 
I can feel, I can see a change, a sign of change in uh, in my society as well as uh, in Kashmir Valley. Uh, they, they are they are looking after, they are following the rules. But one thing, awareness through awareness program, through media, through print media, through social media, they have to be taught. They have to be taught, and it is the work of we people as the education faculty, as well as the traffic faculty, MVD officers, officials, and even the judiciary comes to our time. The mobile magistrate. So wherever they are posted, they also go for these wide uh, awareness programs. Uh, through these mediums only, we can make them aware about what they have to do, how do they how they have to behave while walking. Because we can see that even the pedestrians do get hit by the vehicles. Whenever they cross, they have to look. They have to see exactly. Whenever they walk on the uh, the side uh, yeah side, uh, they have to see. Uh, they should not come in between the road. They should not and also to the black holes. They should not walk on us. So as uh, we run a school and our students are in grade 9, 10, they probably are not qualified to have a driving license in here, maybe after 18th. But uh, as we can see, uh, a lot of parents give their, you know, they give their children a vehicle, a four vehicle. And the children is actually, he's not mentally, you know, uh, adult to understand how brutal it can be for someone else if I'm driving wrong, if I'm driving fast. So what is the punishment for those parents or the student uh, who is driving, uh, you know, uh, car without a... I keep on advising to the parents in my awareness programs, uh, whenever I interact with the people, that they should not give the vehicles, either the two-wheeler or the four-wheeler, before they attain the age of getting the DL. Without DL, they should not. It's a suicide. It's a suicide. And the parents are, will be held responsible. It's not only the parents. Whosoever adult gives their vehicle whether it's his maternal uncle, paternal uncle, or his uh, dad's friend, he will be the pun. He will also be held responsible the way he is. Because he will be put into a rehab center, but he will be uh, held responsible, and the main punishment will be given to the concern, the owner of the vehicle. Yes, it's the owner, or the owners will lie on the shoulders of the owner of the vehicle. So I advise, again, advise to the parents that they should not give four vehicle, either the four vehicle or the uh, two wheelers, before they attain the age of getting the deal from concerned RTOs or ARTOs. This is my humble request. Because it's a suicide, because they are teenagers, adults at age, they are passionate, they do the stunts also. Yeah. Even the stunt makers, uh, yesterday, a uh, day before yesterday only, uh, one of the stunt makers, uh, I had called him, I counseled him, I made him aware, and uh, he apologized for the things. He's, he was, although he was an adult, but still, because they have, they're the bloggers, they come on the YouTube, they become the YouTubers, they, they, they because of this, the, other the teenagers, uh, they get excited. They too want to follow the same trend. The passion leads to the death. Because they have to be matured, they have to attend. Because it thrills. The speed thrills, the stunts also thrills. Exactly. And ultimate, you can feel that. It's the adrenaline that works for them. That works as a drug for yep. those people. Yeah. Yeah. So, sir, as there's one more question. It's, it's a personal question. It's the most irritating thing I feel. It's the use of uh, high beam during the night. Yeah. Yeah. It is very dangerous. It blurs your eyes. Exactly. You can't see anything. And uh, there is a provision. And the person who is using it, continuously using it, about 10,000 rupees. A fine of 10,000? Yeah. It comes motor vehicle at it's, uh, uh, 289 and uh, 177. Motor vehicle act. And 10,000 is the punishment for that. Yeah, whenever you find, you can give a, you can give the number of the vehicle. You can take a pick up that vehicle. We will penalize. Definitely, we are going to penalize him because that's the. Whenever you see any vehicle overloaded huh. or committing any co crime, exactly for motor vehicle acts regarding the provisions, you can give. You can take the video. Yeah, you can give the uh, photograph pick of that vehicle. You can send it. Send it to where? You can send it to me. You can send it to the concern nearby a DSP DTI. Okay. Okay. We can. We will. Sure, that we will act. That would be great. We will. We will act because uh, <coughs> because of these beams, uh, it it also leads to the accidents. Exactly because, because you cannot see. Exactly. You cannot see anything. So Nothing is visible to you. Even during the foggy days, uh -huh. you can see it. So this is all. If someone uh, has a high beam in Srinagar, it doesn't matter much because there are street lights. But when you go to Avantipura, Tral. Uh, on this side, there are no street no, lights no, over there. No, it's no, completely no, dark, no, 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 yes, and you are completely blind in the darkness. Yeah, you are blind. exactly. So it gets blood. You get blood. You, you eyesight gets totally you blank. 
rather we can see so as a departing note what would you say to our audience it's mostly parents and students what would you tell yeah this is my humble advice as well as request to the parents and advice to the all the drivers all the commuters all the passengers that they have to follow they have to abide by the motor vehicle rules and regulations because until and unless they are sincere in abiding these rules this intensity of exigence will not get lowered it will keep on adding to the fatalities and human lives wherever we are losing it is lost for the society as well as for the family and they have to be they have to abide because we being the police uh, traffic police officers or officials they are on the ground they are performing they are doing their job but it is also the job of the society the members of the society that they should also come together we should work together and we should help each other in the redress in the grievances whatsoever we are having traffic related whatever they are having they can come forward my telephone numbers are available with them they can come forward they can come at any time they can talk to me and i i will help them i will try to help all their grievances all ought to be redress because my job is this one that would be really wonderful sir it was really nice talking to you sir it's been a pleasure and it's been a really informative session for our audience as well they might really benefit from the same thank you thank you has the other students and you know the teachers did from today's session so with this i would like to depart the show and thank you so much for your time thank you thank you brother thank thanks beautiful